Hey Stampin' Friends, Darlene with Darlene Stamps. Thanks for joining me today. It is May and I am loading the January pumpkin. Uh, so there won't be any um, tips other than what I'm going to show you, but I did some alternates and thought that I better load those before it's next January. Just kidding. Um, but um, just stay tuned. I just want to show you some of the things I did put together and um, I'll also add some still frames. So thank you again for the patience and um, I, I've gotten my craft room done um, and I'm helping with my mom in that process of um, finding life um, without my dad. And so it's just been life that happens to all of us. But it's through God's strength and his grace that has given us comfort. So thank you again for your support. And this channel has really been a lifeline for me. Um, and card therapy, I hope like with you, is, is my life force um, to just kind of keep things going. And God's my source. And I just thank you for it. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. So I want to show you just kind of the after effects since this is an older kit. This is actually the um, the lovely lavender from January. That's how behind I am. Um, and a couple of leftover pieces that we'll make maybe something with. But anyhow, I want to at least show you some of the alternates. And that way you get kind of some ideas and hopefully you have a little bit left of your kit. So um this one I just used, this is actually the paper, the 12, the 12 by 12 paper that you could, I ordered separate, but this is the, um, the stamp punch and just using that love to kind of have that pop up. Um, this one using the same love and using the scraps from the kit, but also from the paper and Crumb cake is the base, but that kind of gives a little bit, pulls out from that color. And then these are just little one by ones from the Blackberry Bliss. Also using the Love, um, I made my own background. Um, and this is what happens when you, when you boo-boo. So you see, I just tore that and use that as an extra layer. So that kind of helps when you're trying to get more dimension. And then the Love having that pop to you there and getting some of the areas of that. This is my pinwheel, um, and these are uh, one and a quarter, and the, 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 then you cut two of the, the Blackberry Bliss, so there's one here, and that is two by five eighths, and then you do a second one, and when they crisscross, and you lay those around and get you your background. And then this one, just using the pot that came from a, a previous pumpkin, just the outline of that and little areas around it using the color. So um, um, I was able to get the piece that comes in the kit and then I just put the Blackberry Bliss behind it and then just did the trim around it. That's how I got that layer. And then this one, um, just using the uh, negative piece of this stamping underneath on the card base uh, and then using some of those bases in there. This one was part of the kit. I just used, chose to do the background in the darker color. I'll do a still frame here in a minute, but I wanted to at least give this to you. Just simple again. I really liked the um, vase, pulling those vases in the pots and um, just using the color. So we have the um, um, Highland Heather. Um, I did Blackberry Bliss. Trying to pull those together. And then again with the vases, just pulling those vases from the colors, a little punch I had from the butterfly and that paper and just giving, um, and then, and then I separated sometimes if you take a stamp and then you just cut it up and I cut it up and made that spread. So it kind of helps to fill that in. <clears throat> this one, um, similar to the kit, I just use a different background on there and colored in some of the punch uh, um, stamp that I did on that and then this one was part of the kit so not a whole lot extra other than just um, getting um, 
just a bit a different base on the bottom of that. So I'll do a still frame of that, but I wanted just to show these and, and uh, you know, bring together um, just the alternates. And it's been a bit crazy between moving and trying to create a craft room. And so check out my build a craft room from, from scratch. And um, I will hope to see you at the next one. I will put out my February. This is how far behind I am. But thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful stamping fun day.